I think the one thing I've found about going meat free is doing more research on meat and dairy and I think the more and more I delve into this the more disgusted I am and the more vigorous I feel of not eating meat I think I think it's a tough message to get over and no one actually wants to hear I shared a video on my Facebook the other day and No one watched it. It was on the dairy industry and basically I asked why no one watched it and the few replies I got back was, I just don't want to see that thing. I don't want, I don't want to see that. But without seeing that, it kind of like keeps him, you know, oh, I didn't know that. Um, I think I'm at a loss of how to see I, I, I discovered this by mistake not not mistake but see me and my wife have been thinking about going meat free for a while and we we finally did it but see I suffer from OCD so I tend to research a lot about everything I do and so the more I researched the more this diet that I thought of was turning into shock of the actual industry in general and how these animals are treated my first thought was that's obviously something that's in the past and it's not happening now <clears throat> and then watching um, more videos of more up-to-date videos I discovered that yeah that is how it is but the bottom line is it's cruel it's quite disgusting in, in some bits and I kind of urge people to go and see or look at these videos or at least research a bit more because at the end of the day almost everything I've looked into and the food I eat now don't harm animals and And you see, there are like, there's things in, in certain products that don't, don't even need to be in there that come from animals and are based on animal cruelty. And it's kind of like, why is that even there? That there is no point because we have an alternative. It's like putting lard, you know, animal lard into your chip fryer. There is no reason for it. And like everything I eat, it, it, it doesn't come from cows anymore or, or sheep or any living thing. <clears throat> and it's so easy to do nowadays that, you know, it's just, it's just a no brainer in my head now. Ice cream, ice cream that I've tasted that is vegan is more creamy than cows ice cream. And to me, that's like, what if you can do that with an ant, uh, with a, with a like plant-based source? Then what the hell is the point in, you know, in in killing animals and torturing them? And the, there just isn't one. <clears throat> I'm going to put a link in the video to the video that I watched recently and tried sharing. 
I urge people to watch it. I mean, chances are I don't want to watch this video anyway, but... I think there is climate change, and that's good. Be a vegan for that reason. But I think the biggest reason is the cruelty. The unnecessary cruelty, to be honest with you. And I think that's what that's what we need to be striving for. And as a byproduct, it is better for the environment. But these animals won't be suffering anymore. No, they won't die out or go anywhere. They'll be kept. Like, I don't know. Vegans aren't going to let them all die off, are they? They're not going to save them for them to die off. That, that ain't going to happen. So, and being kept in, in say, a zoo <clears throat> where they can roam around and just be themselves like a lion or tiger in a zoo, and it's, it's far better than being cramped up and used and then discarded and then chopped up and eaten. I'm pretty sure if you ask the actual animal if he could answer back, he'd, he'd probably agree. So, So yeah, just have a look at the video and think about it. Just have a little think. And um, thank you for watching.